Well, winter hasn't given up its grip on the Midwest yet, but I'll tell you what, we did find a great place to fish. We're out on the Missouri River. We're going to show you how to read current today because that's the whole difference. So stay right where you're at. Fish Ed's coming up. You know, a couple weeks ago, we were up on the Rainy River and there was no current. And that makes river fishing a little bit tough because you know, realistically, if you can play the current, you're gonna catch more fish because you know where the fish should be. And I wanna to explain to you, oh, look at the size of this walleye to start our day. This is a big Missouri River walleye right here. But what we're doing here is we are setting up on current breaks and seams. Oh, look at that fish. Look at that. What a way to start a day. That is a monster Missouri River walleye right there. Let me show you what we're doing here. We'll get this fish unhooked and get it back in the water. But what we're doing is we're setting up on edges where there's a little bit of current. Ooh, he got himself unhooked for me too. That's a break. Look at that walleye right there. Wow, I couldn't ask for a better way to start a trip to North Dakota than that fish right there. But I'll tell you, these fish are just lined up on a current seam. And right now, I am in between, in kind of a trough. And as soon as we let this guy go, I'm gonna show you exactly what you wanna look for here. Look at that big girl. There she goes. Now that fish is set up right here for a reason. She's gonna move up onto these sandbars and she's gonna spawn. It's just a question of when, and right now the water's pretty cold, so we're a little ways away from it. But what we're doing is I'm working a trough, and you can see how tight we are to the shoreline right here. There's actually a current break there. And there's also a current break out here. I mean, if you look real close here, you can actually see it. And what, what's really complicated sometimes for people when it comes to fishing a river is understanding what a current break really is. But if you look back up this line, you'll actually see the water almost looks like it changes color. And what that is, is there's some current and then there's no current in that other side of it. So what happens is the fish get kind of tight to that because they can find a place to rest and they have the place to eat because they can pull right out in that current ambush bait as it comes down. We'll talk a little bit more about current seams as we go, but that's what you want to look for, and that's why that fish is right there. It's another big fish. Look at that. Fish right there. There he is. You know, current seams, they can be a little intimidating to figure out. I want to explain to you exactly how I do this. Let me slow this boat down here. Get this fish in here, and I'll show you exactly what I'm looking for. Because there are a lot of different things that can create a current seam. Now out here on the Missouri River, up on this end of it, this is pretty much a wild river, okay? So what's going on out here is this is a sandbar, and over here we've got a sandbar. So it's actually creating a funnel, and the current runs right along the edge. Now, if you're on more of a developed river, let's say uh, the Mississippi River down south of Minneapolis, you're going to find a situation there where you've got wing dams and more natural, natural man or natural things like points and and stuff like that that'll give you a current break and swing out in the river. But you're looking for the same look. You're looking for these edges where the water changes a little bit, a little bit of water's running there. And then what you wanna do is usually get off on the slack side of it because that's where a lot of the fish like this one are gonna lay. They'll lay just over on the slack side. When they're feeding, they'll move right up into that edge of that thing because it's blowing food down through there. So whether it's natural or man-made, look for those current seams and you'll catch more fish like that one. Sometimes a little change like what I just did can make such a big difference. And I'll tell you what the change was. I just cast upstream. 
you know, I've been, I've been working downstream here for quite a while. And what I did different there, is I just turned around and I started casting upstream and pulling that jig back with the current. And when I do that, what I did different, that's another, another great eater. But what I do different is when I'm casting downstream, working it back to me, I'm hopping it just a little bit more. When I cast it upstream and I bring it down, I'm spending more time dragging it. Let me show you what it is we're using because it, it is really, really simple. All I'm doing is I'm fishing a quarter ounce Lindy jig today. And now this is the kind of day where I get by with a quarter, maybe a 3 16th. A couple weeks, more of this snow is going to melt. They're going to get more of this snow melting way up north and coming down. Water's going to go up, going to get a little bit muddier, but the current's going to get just a little bit faster. When that happens, make sure you got some three ace, maybe even some half and three quarter ounce jigs with you because you want to fish the same areas, the same system, but you need to have enough to get down to the bottom. So keep that in mind. Bring all those sizes, you're going to be just fine. Another great eater. Tell you, this is one of the funnest places that I know of that I get to go fish each year. Missouri River is just loaded with fish like this one right there. You know, you can come out here and get fish like this. You know, we started our day with one of these. We're gonna finish our day with one of these. They are just a ball to catch. You know what's neat about this place too? Is it's open water and it's hard to find right now. So I'll tell you what, it's a great place to come out and spend a little bit of time on the water. So if you get a chance, get out here to the Missouri River at Bismarck. It's just doggone fun fishing. Hey, for more current and up-to-date information, check back with us next week on Fish Ed.